all right everybody so my first video on this pump was showing how to switch the pump on and off with a breaker now I did not show you how to turn your pump on and off with a switch so I was originally going to do that and when I saw that my uh, breaker was waterproof I decided to kill two birds with one stone and use the uh, breaker as a switch but what if you don't have this and you want and you your system or what you purchased is just a uh, fuse so if you put a fuse right here it's inconvenient for you to pull the top off pull the fuse out and put it back in to make your pump work so then you'd want to switch so what I've seen a lot of people do uh, even the ones that build the trailers is they'll buy a super heavy-duty 40 or 50 amp switch normally like a push-pull switch that would operate a heavy load because you'd need something around 40 to 50 amps 60 amp uh, switch and those are big um, and they're big for a reason because they're going to have a lot of current go through them so what I see sometimes is people undersize their switch and here's a little switch right here if you put see the wires if you put this across here say you cut right here and you put that right there this is going to burn up and I see a lot of people say well when I say a lot of people I see some people say their switches are burning up and um, you know it's they just have a lot of issues so this is actually not the right way this is not the right uh, wire to put your switches on so let's say this is hooked up uh, without the breaker and you want to put a switch on here but you want a little switch to fit in a box or you know you want something with a light on it this one has a light on it so what we want to do is we want to switch the low current the signal wire of the relay right here so a relay all it does is um, operate heavy amperage with low amperage so it's, it's basically a switch in here and it's going to make contact with some heavy contacts to operate the heavy wires to operate the motor but you can operate this whole business with the smaller wire you see how this is a small wire going to the relay it's because it does, it's not going to draw hardly any amperage so if we were going to put this in here I just have this set in here I'm going to show you how many amps this motor draws no load so there's no water in here so this is a no load amp but it it's 25 amps continuous uh, if you have water flowing through it but with no water flowing through it it's not going to pull any amps so I've got my meter set up here I'm going to put that lead there now my motor's running you see basically running seven and a half eight amps so sometimes you put a little switch on and they're only rated for 10 amps as soon as this starts pulling your switch is going to go so we're going to put this back on i don't know how i'm going to cut away from this video but bear with me but let's let's picture we put this on here so we have to pull the switch or the fuse in and out to make that uh, motor work so like this that's the same as pulling the fuse in and out but like I said it's inconvenient so where you want to switch it is you want to put your switch right in line here and 
I could take all this apart and make it pretty with the spade lug, but I'm just going to show you something really simple. Okay, so if you, I don't know how, I mean, this is a Delavan, so they've got the relay already installed to do the heavy work. Um, and they've got this big shrink wrap or shrink tubing over it, and I don't want to mess with that. But you could take this apart, pull this off the uh, relay, and put a switch in between there. But I'm just going to do it real simple, and we're going to cut this control wire. All right, so I I stripped it back. We're gonna. I'm just gonna solder this back together when I'm done. Now, if I was adding this switch, I probably would have just done this. So we would take one lead and go to one side of our switch, and the other lead to the other side like this. Now, this this is coming right off the pressure regulator, and right now it's calling for juice. It's, it's calling to turn on. So we're going to turn the breaker on and nothing happens. You see? With this connected like that, here's our switch. Now with this disconnected, nothing comes on. But now we're switching these small control wires. So let's put the amp meter on here and see how much that's drawing. Okay, so same as I did up here. Now let's see how many amps it takes to turn this relay on. You see that? It's not, it's 0.147 amps. I mean, that's, that's a, a really low amperage draw. So now, this switch is plenty big enough to run this. In fact, you could run this, let's see here. I'm gonna get one strand of wire off of here and one strand of wire off of here. And now, you could run this pump with wires this big. You see? So now you can use cute little switches and put them anywhere you want, which originally I was going to do this. But like I said, when I saw that my breaker was waterproof, I'm just going to kill two birds with one stone. Now, I can just leave that in line, just like that, and add the switch right here. But we're just going to see how this works. So I wanted to show you the proper way of installing a switch on anything that has a relay. Do not switch the load side of your relay, which is essentially what we're doing here switch the low amperage side and another thing too when you do this the load on the coil side of this relay there's a small electromagnetic coil in here that makes contact um, its amperage rating is constant it doesn't change I mean, it might change a little bit through, you know, if it's really hot or really cold, but virtually doesn't change. But your amperage rating on your load side changes. Right now it's running 8 amps with water, and it's going to run 25. Uh, the starting amps is 35. And let's say that your motor gets a little wear on it. Uh, the bearings start uh, dragging a little bit hard. This, this could be, you, you could bump that up, you know, 30 amps constant running and 40 amps to start it. It's still running, but it's just not running as efficient. So your load side is 
always changing your contact side your your control side doesn't so you can more uh, figure out all your loads on the low side or your contact side of your relays so that's how you would add a switch to one of these motors I'm just going to sneak this little clip in I was going to mount this back up in here uh, and when you mount it up here this side the open side points to the front so driving down the road rain and trash and stuff would be packing in here so I just took it off there and mounted it right here and now it's blocked so I think that might help in keeping the uh, connectors clean and stuff and it might eliminate an issue down the road so everybody if you watch my videos and if you learned anything maybe you didn't learn anything maybe I look like an idiot on here but if you learned something please like and subscribe and share my videos I also have a, another channel where I uh, have a lot of auto repair videos and uh, treasure hunting videos so you might check that out and I'll put the link down below so anyway uh, happy switch wiring